This is the Smathers Beach in Key West, Florida travel guide. Did you know that the Key West motto is one human family? Well, if you see this beach, you'll understand this motto under this palm tree lined man-made beach, which looks and feels like paradise under the hot sun of Key West. Smathers Beach is the largest of the four beaches in Key West with sandy beaches and clear water stretching out into the horizon. Info in this video will include directions, parking, what to see and do, and of course, we'll share our own experiences and tips. Keep watching this video, and if you like this video, then give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and click on the bell icon for future notifications. Welcome to HipFig. If you're a travel enthusiast, then join our community by subscribing to this channel. This is HipFig's Key West Florida Travel Guide series. This episode, is the Smathers Beach travel guide for visitors to Key West, Florida. Smathers Beach is located along the 1900 to 2600 blocks of South Roosevelt Boulevard, also known as State Road A1A in Key West, Florida. The beach extends about two miles along the south side of the island of Key West on the Atlantic Ocean side, running parallel to the State Road A1A aka South Roosevelt Boulevard. The beach begins at mile marker zero at the beginning of A1A. Smathers Beach is about a mile and a half from Mallory Square, so you could bike there in about 15 to 20 minutes. The beach is free and open from 7 a.m. to 11 p.m. Finding free parking can be a challenge here. It is no longer available in the 19 to 2600 blocks of South Roosevelt Boulevard where Smathers Beach is located. You will find public metered parking in this area. Metered parking is by electronic pay stations near where you parked. These pay stations accept coins or credit cards. Take the receipt and put it face up on your dashboard. Metered parking are enforced seven days per week from 8 a.m. to midnight. There are multiple ways to get here if you don't have a car. Old Town Trolley Tours goes around the whole line of Key West and not just the downtown area with 13 stops. Take it and exit at trolley stop 9 and walk to Smathers Beach. You can also take the public bus. For details and schedule from where you're coming from, go to the keywesttransit.com website. We arrived in the morning around 9 a.m. and the sun was already out and hot. Smathers Beach is generally quiet in the mornings. FYI, this is a good spot for sunrise and sunsets. Once we arrived, we walked from the sidewalk to the beach walkway, which is lined with swaying palm trees. We secured a spot under the palm trees, the only shaded spots on the beach. FYI, wear flip-flops as the sand is fine and hot. There's also not very many people here when we arrived, so we took advantage of the peaceful time. The beach is absolutely picturesque with white sand and calm waves and the swaying palm trees, as you can see from this video. We walked to the ocean's edge and enjoyed a stroll along the sandy beach. The water here is shallow for quite a distance, so you can walk out into the ocean before actually needing to swim. The sand in the ocean can feel a bit muddy, making it a bit weird to walk, so wear water shoes if you want to. As you can see from the video, there's some seagrass and seaweed on the beach. There can be a lot of it at times, um, which you may have to walk through to get to the ocean, and at times the odor can be bad, but it was mostly clear and pristine when we visited. There's also a small rock jetty that you can walk on, but wear good shoes if you do. The rocks are a bit jagged and so you can get hurt. Around 11 a.m., especially around spring break, the beach will start to liven up with tourists, locals, and vendors. You can rent a volleyball and play on one of the three courts on the beach. And people are really friendly here, so finding friends doesn't seem to be a problem, especially amongst the 20-somethings. If you forget something, you can probably find it at one of the many vendor trucks that line the beach or the small huts. You can even rent everything from kayaks, snorkeling gear, jet skis, um, beach umbrellas, chairs, and foods from small stands and trucks which congregate near the main area of the beach by the showers and the restrooms. If you're hanging out on the edges of Smathers Beach, then make sure to bring your own snacks, water, play toys, and plenty of sunscreen. 
For your information, there are also porta potties placed along throughout the beach. Interesting fact. Smathers Beach is a man-made beach, and there's rumor that the sand is supposedly brought in from the Bahamas. Pretty extravagant. The ocean is very calm and shallow on Smathers Beach, so water sports like paddleboarding is great here. Although you can snorkel here, you may not get to see uh, many tropical fish. Please note, bring some tissue and hand sanitizer. The bathrooms can run out of toilet paper and soap pretty fast. The air around here is mostly residential, so it offers a break from the touristy section of Key West. If you walk on the sidewalk, it's pretty wide and there's a running walking path, or what they call a boardwalk along the Atlantic Ocean, which is fabulous for a nice stroll or bike ride with ocean views. You can easily spend anywhere from 30 minutes to all day at Smathers Beach and this area, depending on your interest. Combine it with a bike ride along the south side of the island and make sure to take some fabulous pictures. Happy travels! Go to hipfig.com for more information or go to our HipFig Travel Channel on YouTube and be sure to subscribe for regular...